guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install the software drivers and utility for running the Roland BN20A, uh, which also includes VersaWorks. So um, when you get your Roland BN20A, it is going to have a, um, a QR code right on the front. If you scan that, it will bring you to a website where the uh, user manual is and within that it will walk you through getting the entire machine um, itself set up after you get the machine set up then you want to install the software so you can start here um, by clicking download the software now what it's going to tell you is that you need to access this download website when you click on that website it brings you here where you have the manuals where you can download and download the manuals if you want to keep them on your computer and then it has this software tab which is where you want to start you would think that this is where the software would be um, to download but unfortunately what you can't get to it yet you have to inst you have to put your bn20s serial number into this box right here. Once you put your your um, serial number in there and click find your machine, you will fill out a little bit more information to start the warranty, initiate the warranty, and then you will get to a page where it takes you to the software. That page will then change and now you will have um, the option to download and install the software. Now all of these four options here um, can be expanded. You can see here and then next to them they have of uh, this little download button. Okay, so um, if you want to download each of them individually, you can. I would recommend that you go through here and do the Roland DG software package and you'll see here it's telling you if you want to install this for the first time, you will click that. Once you get that installed on your computer, you're then going to have a series of, I don't know, four or five steps that you need to work through. So you'll have this installation package down on your computer. Now remember, the Roland software utility and printer package can only run on a PC. So you need to make sure that you're working on your PC. And when you get the um, package downloaded and installed, you will then need to um, unzip the software package. You can do that by right clicking on the software package zip file and selecting extract all. From there you will see all of the folders including the driver, the utility, and VersaWorks in that unzipped folder. Okay, so now the first step is to install the print driver. The driver is what is needed so that the computer can send information and data to the printer and the cutter click into that driver folder and then scroll down and double click where you see it says setup. This is going to launch the driver setup and you'll follow the detailed instructions um, that it has for you and it'll be showing them to you on the screen. You can also go through the um, manual and on page on step three is where you'll have a very very detailed um, information on installing the software. But again, you can follow through the um, on-screen prompts too. Once you get that done, then once you get the driver installed, you may be automatically prompted to next set up the utility. If not, you're going to want to return to that unzipped um, folder that you had, the software package folder. This time you're going to want to click into the utility folder. The utility helps provide necessary updates to um, that you're going to need. So double click setup in that folder and then follow through um, again the steps 5 through 14 for installing the software. Once you've done that, you've got the final step is to actually install VersaWorks. So again, return to that software package folder and double click into the VersaWorks. If you only have uh, a VersaWorks zip folder, then again you'll have to right click and extract all first. And you're going to want to select the one that says VW underscore installer. This will launch the installation. Again, follow those on-screen prompts to complete the installation. And if you need detailed step-by-step -step instructions, then you can check the VersaWorks installation guide, which is separate. Okay, so once you get that, you will be able to... Um, you will want to launch VersaWorks, but you're going to end up with this window, which is going to tell you um, that you need to complete the window uh, to get VersaWorks to fully load. But don't do that quite yet. You're, you're going to, we're going to finalize that in a few minutes. Okay. 
So the next thing that you want to do is connect the printer to the computer. So you can do this by plugging the power cord into the back of the BN20, if you haven't done that already, and then connecting the power to the, to the power source. Turn the power on on both the back of the machine and by pressing the power button on the front, okay? And then there's a little piece of tape that will be covering the USB port on the back. You'll want to um, take, that, take that tape off and then you can connect um, by USB to your computer. Once you make that connection, the computer will recognize the device and a window will pop up with instructions to install the inks. This is kind of a probably 15 or 20 minute process, um, but the computer, the you know, you'll get these on-screen prompts that will walk you through the entire thing. You'll be using the dummy cartridges, you'll be taking them in and out, moving them to the, the different slots. Each time only one single slot will be um, not used and you'll be moving the, the dummy cartridges three times in the same slot and then taking them out completely and then moving them to three different slots. All right, this happens um, multiple times that you'll be doing that to get the cleaning liquid into all of the uh, cartridge spots. All right, once the cleaning is finished, uh, your machine will tell you that that has been completed and you will hear each of the ink tags It will kind of start to go and um, pull the ink into the lines. You will get a confirmation on your computer screen that, that the ink tanks have been completely uh, filled, okay? You can then go through the process to set up your blade and install that. And same thing with um, installing the um, media roll. Now, once that is done, now we are ready to launch VersaWorks, okay? So you're gonna get that window again Make sure your Roland is still powered on and connected to your computer. You're going to return to launch VersaWorks. This can be done through the Windows Start menu or by double clicking if you have a shortcut on your computer. When you get into that window, you want to make these following changes. You want to create a nickname, nickname for your printer. I just called mine Roland BN20A. Under the port or P, click Printer Driver. Okay, select the BN20 from the drop down, click verify, and then click OK and apply. And this time VersaWorks will launch and should confirm in the top corner that your setup is complete. Okay, so this is quite a few steps, but you can, you know, just take your time. It might take you, you know, an hour or two to get through everything, but it is definitely possible to do this yourself. Um, I had no experience doing this and was able to, with the help of the um, user guides and the on-screen prompts, even being a Mac user, was able to do this um, you know, with no, no real hiccups, all right? I do have a written tutorial for this setup and installation. If you're interested in that, I will link it in the description, and you can also find it up here in the top right corner of this video, linked directly to it. So um, good luck getting your Roland BN20 set up in the software installation um, going, and I can't wait to share more Roland BN20 videos and tutorials with you.